we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done We have the first book, you guys. This one's a good one. Teachers having like lives outside of teaching, especially like this new role as being a mom, I feel like I would have loved to see more teachers talk about how they balanced motherhood and teaching because that's something that I'm battling and, and kind of learning how to balance. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Monday morning. I am eating some breakfast. Yeah, it's a new vlog. It's a new week. Yesterday was Easter. I hope you guys had the best Easter. I had a very relaxing long weekend because we didn't have school on Friday. And then today, like I said, today's Monday and we have a PD day and a CT day. So in the morning, this morning, we have professional development. After lunch, the rest of the day is just CT, which will be really nice. And I'm hoping to get out of there a little bit early. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around for all my future videos. I vlog lots of different things. I vlog mainly my life as a teacher. However, this week I wanted to do something a little bit different. I've been feeling, I feel like I'm doing the same thing every week with my videos and I wanted to do something a little bit different, but vlogs, I feel like, perform the best, vlogs are the easiest for me. So I wanted to just kind of put a twist on it this week and kind of include more of the mom side of things um, and being a working mom and kind of navigating that balance because if you watched my video from last week, if you didn't, I'll link it for you. It was a really fun vlog. But if you watched that video, I did talk a little bit about struggling with that balance of loving my job, but also loving being a mom and kind of wishing I could be in two places at once and battling like, Am I making the right choice? Should I stay home? Should I keep working? And so I wanted to kind of include just what my life looks like as the mom side as well. I don't really like to share my daughter too much because I just don't want to, but I think I could still show you kind of what my days look like outside of just teaching, like what it's really like to be a new mom or just a mom in general that's also a teacher and trying to balance both. So I'm still gonna vlog my you know, week and teaching and all of that stuff like normal. I'm just gonna try to include more mom stuff. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll hardly get any footage, but every day is different. It's 7.15, Michael's at work right now. He's an RN. He has to be at work at 6.45, so he leaves the house around 6.30 every day. Kind of how we've been like making it work on the days that he works is, she has like a night feed, which it's morning, but it's still technically night around five so one of us will feed her the other one will start getting ready she'll go back to sleep until about seven normally my mother-in-law watches her jordan is so blessed that i don't have to go to a daycare that her grandma just comes to my house every day like it is the greatest thing in the whole world and every single day i'm grateful for it so she comes at 7 30 because that's when i leave but today i don't have to be there till 8 30. do you want to come sit with mom here you want to see lammy look Good morning, Manny. <laughs> this just looks so funny. At 7.30 so that I can leave then, but today I get to wait a little bit longer because it, our PD starts a little bit later than I would get there. And my mom is watching her today instead of Michael's mom. So hopefully I can get a good amount of footage to kind of show you what it's like. Okay, let's go make you a bottle. It is almost one. We had trainings this morning and then I met with my team and now I'm just doing some planning and honestly, I have a horrible, I have a horrible headache. So I'm just gonna kind of like sit 
and get some planning done. I want to really plan until the end of the year if I can. Um, we're also taking the math test this week, so I need to make the review game and just kind of like do a bunch of little things. So I'm not gonna talk with you too much. just got home. I just got her up from her nap. Yeah, our PD day, I didn't really talk very much at school because it was just, I just honestly, I had a horrible, horrible headache. Basically, like when I come home from school, what it looks like is we play. I say hi to Ellie. Yes, I do. So we're gonna go play. I've got actually a lasagna in the oven so that I can eat it once I put her back down for her nap in about 45 minutes. And then I'll get all my stuff ready. Hi, Ellie. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> Did you have a good day? Yeah. Yeah, you want to say something? Oh, uh, what? Really? and I just got to school. If you did not watch my vlog from last week, I think I already said this, but make sure you go watch it. We started this whole peeps unit today, tomorrow, and hopefully by Thursday, we're gonna finish our books that we're making. I have quite a few kids that have started on these, which is like the final copy. They'll cut it out and then they'll put it all together as a book. Some of them are almost finished with their final copies. So now they just need to like read through it and put it all together. I will link the product in the description for you. It's a freebie, just these pages. I ended up just writing the lines in Sharpie and then making a copy because the lines they provided were just a little too small for first grade, but there's lots of different options and that's where I got my cover page, my back page. They're gonna get to choose if they want their cover to be blue or pink or yellow. And then the back looks like this and they'll glue a little uh, cotton ball to the back. So I think I'm gonna have a couple kids get to that today. And then my plan is once everybody is finished, we will kind of travel around the room and read it to each other because that was one of my favorite things last year was watching them get to read their stories to each other. We are also gonna take a math test on Friday about time and measurement. So today and tomorrow, we're gonna do a couple of measurement things. Today we're doing pirate measurements. Basically it's a bunch of different pirate items that they have to measure from arrow to arrow and then write it on this. Michael's off today, which is nice when that happens because then I can just kind of give him Jordan after she wakes up at seven and I can kind of get out of the door a little bit earlier than normal and not have to worry about like feeding her and changing her and getting all of her stuff like ready. It is a huge, huge, huge blessing that my mother-in-law comes over. I still like to have everything kind of laid out for her, stocked up for her, made in advance, everything's ready, which is definitely easier than driving to drag everything to daycare, but when Michael's home, I don't have to do all that. So that's nice. So he's home until Friday, which is so great. So today and tomorrow and Thursday, he is at home. I'm sleepy though, because she got up at, it was like 2.30 last night and just wanted to play like wide awake. So I had to rock her back to sleep for like 30 minutes, but it's all good. Got my coffee and we're gonna have a good day. My kids are at specials, so it's the end of the day, but we've had a good day. I had my first kid put together their book. We have the first book, you guys, and this one's a good one. It's all about Marvel and seeing Spider-Man and Black Panther. And then he took him to DC and he had to hide from Batman. Like, it's a whole story. So, the first one is complete. Our day started off a little bit rocky, I'm not gonna lie, but it got much better. Math went super well. I'll link that, that was a freebie. I'm gonna have a snack and watch Netflix. I've been watching The Ultimatum. Yeah, it's been a pretty darn good day. I 
I'm proud of our progress on our books. I'm not gonna go into super huge detail about the project because I did last week, but um, this week we're just writing our final copies, adding our illustrations, and then reading them to each other, so. Okay, it is 5.03. I just put Jordan down, I actually need to, I need to log it. This is my favorite app. It is five now, I just got home around 4.30. Michael is off today and so he had dinner ready. I just put Jordan down, he is outside mowing the lawn. I think I'm gonna take a shower, but if I have time, I will make my lunch for tomorrow, make the coffee for tomorrow make sure all my stuff is like packed and ready for tomorrow. I'm here to share reality with you. It's 5.10, she's up. I started the shower, brushed my hair, I was gonna take off my makeup and she's awake. So I'm gonna give her like five minutes to try to resettle. I don't even know if I, it's worth showering because she's probably not gonna go back down and I don't really wanna rush my shower. So she's not really upset, she's just not sleeping and she, her time for this nap is so short that I can't just like leave her there to, to not sleep. Like she has to take a quick nap and she does not have a lot of time to do it so. I guess I'm gonna go rock her, which is not bad. Like, I love snuggling her, but I just wanted to take a shower. <laughs> okay, now she only gets 30 minutes, so hopefully she sleeps. I don't know if I'm feeling bold enough for a shower, though. actually just took my kids to counselor. Um, oh, it's not Tuesday, <laughs> it's Wednesday. Feels like Tuesday because this is only my second day with kids, but I am grateful that it's Wednesday. I'll be honest, it's been a little bit of a rough morning and normally I don't share when these kind of things happen because this has nothing to do with teaching, but Michael is at home today with Jordan and Jordan is just apparently having a very rough day. While I'm teaching and while I'm here, busy like it's really hard to know that my baby is like at home having a really tough time and I can do nothing about it I just have to like put on a smile and do my best for my kids it's hard to feel like physically I'm here but mentally I'm home like mentally I want to be at home helping her that's kind of just what's been on my mind this morning but it is just a part of it unfortunately anyway today we are going to pretty normal day we're just going to work on our peeps books we're going to probably glue the little cod balls 
to the back of the books that get finished. I'm expecting a good chunk of my kids to get their books done today. So I went ahead and I printed this little packet of early finisher pages that kind of look that kind of look like Eastery. Normally when my kids finish early, they play a phonics game or a math game. Um, and the only reason I'm not doing that is because I want them to kind of be in their seats and still be working on something pretty quietly and independently and not like playing a game with a friend around the room because I really want to give the other kids who are still working on their stories a quiet working environment. So I made those this morning just for my people who finish today or tomorrow. And then for math today, we're doing like a measurement hunt around the room so they just have to find um, things around the room, draw me a picture of it, and then how many, it says number of units, and I think I'm gonna do cubes today because I've been working a lot with rulers and technically the standard is like to, like they need to be able to measure with non-standard measurement as well. So I think I'm gonna have them use cubes for that. It's just like one of those days where I feel like my head's just a little bit scrambled, but it's okay. I got decent sleep last night. This morning, she didn't wake up till, f well, she woke up at 4.15. I just put the binky back in and was kind of just expecting her to wake me up soon. And she slept until 5.15. Like my alarm went off at five and she was still asleep. And I was like, heck no, I'm not getting up. So I snoozed. And then when my second alarm went off at 5.15, she was like stirring and she was waking up. So that was a little gift. Um, I hope that y'all are enjoying this type of vlog i sometimes it's a lot to like include my stuff at home but i think it's kind of fun too as well it is my plan time and it's actually almost the end of my plan time but we have peeps books i'm so excited i think i have about five who are not done with their books but most of them finished their little books today they put the covers on they glued the tail on and then tomorrow we will wrap up our peeps project i let them pick if they wanted yellow blue or pink so there's a nice variety and i thought about pinning these in the hallway and i haven't decided if i really want to do that yet or if i just want to have us read it and then send them home for them to read it to families and then for math um it's still up on the screen but we did like a hunt around the room and they had to find it was double-sided so they had to find 10 items around the room and measure it with their cubes and i thought that that went so well they just did a really great job at finding their own things and i've kind of been struggling with like people just buddying up and like copying after friends or just doing everything their friend does and they did a really good job of, like working independently and measuring staying on task it's been a it's been a good day. It's a little bit later. It's five o'clock. I got home around four thirty, like normal, and ate a quick dinner. I just heated up some leftovers. Jordan is currently sleeping, so I'm sitting in our bedroom just because I wanted to sit in my bed. So I'm editing my video. That's how I really like get videos done for each sunday because it is a lot sometimes editing a full video while trying to balance things um but i try to do it like piece by piece like every day i try to do just a little chunk when i have time i am just gonna knock out as much as i can possibly get done until she wakes up that's how i kind of try to stay on top of it um that's also how i just stay on top of anything like anytime i have a minute I try to do something um which is why when people say like sleep when the baby sleeps that's why that doesn't happen um we had a really good day Jordan did not have a great day her morning was really rough I think it got a little bit better as the day went on but that's just it's so hard not being able to be here and feeling like trapped like there is nothing that I can do again better than a daycare at least it's my husband or like my mother-in-law or somebody that's really close dealing with it but it's still just oh, it's just like excruciating i don't know that i'm going to share too much tonight just because it's been a day for all of us but i'll probably see you in the morning um i am not doing anything crazy today we're just finishing 
our books today. I am determined. I do have a couple kids gone, which stinks. I just wanted to say too about these. I was really glad I had these because I had so many kids finish yesterday and the ones that were still working were the ones who needed a lot of help. So they needed a more calm environment to work in. This was great, but I did have some kids just finishing this though. I printed this little writing paper if I turn into a rabbit. So I'm gonna have them do this today as well. So I made a PowerPoint to review for our math test tomorrow. Hopefully that will help them. I think that they're gonna do just fine. And they've been like pointing out, we have an analog clock and they always are pointing out like what time it is and just constantly seeing it. And so I feel like it will be fine. I also realized our field trip is next Friday to the zoo and that kind of freaked me out a little bit. So I'm trying to make sure all of my stuff is ready for that. <music> bunny books again I want you to keep working and get those finished all right everybody else here's what we're gonna do today we have a writing page all about today I turned into a what rabbit uh, a what a rabbit a rabbit so brainstorm for a minute I want you to imagine that really happened imagine you woke up in your bed this morning and instead of being or instead of being you were a bunny what would you do? What would you do? When I woke up, I scream. You would freak out if you woke up like that? I would scream and run around the room and jump on my dad's face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Write it and hide it. Don't share. You ready? Yes, yes. Put your marker down then so I know you're ready. Three, two, one, show me. Drum roll, please. <laughs> It is plan time. We finished our peeps books, you guys. I added that bunny writing paper for all the kids who were done and I had like four or five who needed to finish it today, their books. They finished them and that actually ended up taking like the whole writing time, which I had hoped they'd get done earlier, but they did get them done. And then we did our math review for our test tomorrow. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was kind of rough. So we'll see how the test goes. We had like five extra minutes after that review game. And so I had them read their book to a friend. I'm just going to send it home um, just to get it done and move on from our peep stuff. I love peeps, but I'm over it and I'm ready to be done and move on. So it's been a good day. It's been a little bit of a crazy day. I've had to like contact some parents and like rough, but it's all good. It's super hot in my room. I'm going to open my door and like get some air in here. So I'm going to stop talking to my phone. Tomorrow is Earth Day <laughs> and I was talking to Maylene who was so flustered because I'm sure she'll vlog about it, but <laughs> she thought today was Earth Day. And so she was like running around this morning texting me. And I like literally had to Google, is today Earth Day? Because she had me freaking out that I forgot about it. It's not, it's tomorrow. So <laughs> sorry, Maylene. Um, but tomorrow we're gonna do some Earth Day stuff and take our math test and it'll be a good Friday. But I'm excited to like move on from peeps because this has taken like Two weeks. I'm over it. You have homework. Are you ready for your homework? Yeah. Your homework is to read your peep story to two different people in your house. How many people? Two, two different people. Read the whole story. Oh, you worked so hard on those books. Stick them somewhere safe. Keep them somewhere that you can look back on them in the future. Oh, absolutely. Just at least two. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it over five. Got this place on. Do you feel like we got something strong? And I saw you. Happy Friday, 
you guys. It is 6.15. Last night was a rough night. Um, she woke up every hour, sometimes multiple times an hour. I am really happy that it's Friday though. I feel like this week went super fast, which is always a good thing. Hopefully the weekend doesn't go fast. I think after this week, we only have like five weeks left of school if I am correct. I might be wrong. I haven't actually counted. Let's count right now. Mm. Oh, it's Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. One, two, three, five. Yep. After this week, we have five weeks left of school. That's crazy. That is not a lot at all. I don't have any like crazy countdowns or anything. I've seen like ABC countdowns. I've seen um, there's this one going around Instagram where like each day you celebrate a different kid and I love that. But um, yeah, I just want to say good morning. <music> My mother-in-law will be here pretty much any minute, but I just had to show you my new accessory, drool. And it's just always on my shoulder. My shoulder is always just a little bit wet and it's just a look. Oh, now I'm gonna get it on my other shoulder. So we're gonna go. coffee everywhere. I got a new lanyard in the mail last night and I wanted to share it with you because my cute black and white one, I love that lanyard, but it was from Etsy. It broke and then I had a backup one at home and it also broke. But I got this one from Modern Made Company, I think. It's from Etsy. I follow them on Instagram um, and I just really liked these cute little neutral beads. So it's Earth Day. Um, so I wanted to share what we're doing today. I have a couple different read alouds and I'm kind of just going to see where the day takes us. I've thought about doing like going outside, but it's so windy because I thought about maybe doing the read aloud and like the writing stuff outside and taking clipboards, but it is extremely windy. And so I feel like that would be a disaster. So we'll see. Um, I have this book. It's super cute. It's just more focused on like the earth and the planets and then this one um is like how you can help the earth so i'm gonna read both of these at some point and then i have two different writing options um i have this one i can help the earth by and i'm gonna pair these two together to talk about you know what you can personally do I have this little acrostic poem where they're going to describe the earth using like adjectives that start with each letter there's that and then we're taking our math test today. I feel like they've had a really good day. Um, it's been a very like chill day, which we have definitely been needing so much. Um, we silent read and that went longer than it normally goes just because they're doing such they were just doing such a great job that i didn't want to stop them okay i got interrupted um silent so reading went well today and then we did in writing we read about we read both of the books and then we did i can help the earth by talked about that and talked about like realistic things that we can actually do rather than like go pick up at the ocean like we're not near an ocean what can you do every day and we talked about water bottles which was i think good to put it into perspective we did the math of if we brought a water bottle a plastic water bottle to school every day the whole year times by as many kids there are like how many water bottles we would have used it was like over 2000 something and um how since all of us use a reusable water bottle it saved over 2000 plastic water bottles and like that's something small that you've done all year that you didn't even realize was helping the earth and so then we started brainstorming other things and that was really kind of fun to like talk to them about that and i made them feel like oh i can do something i am making a difference with just small things i do every day so that was cute and then we took our math test and i have not graded it yet but from what i saw i think they did really well and i was a little nervous we ended up having like 15 extra minutes and i don't know if you can see it but we ended up writing the acrostic poem about earth and they came up with words that like 
described the earth and that was really cute. So it's been a good day. It's been a good Friday. Let me know if this is you too, but I literally love on Fridays when I get to like get rid of all of my stuff from this week that's left over and fill up like all my tier two bins. I get to fill up my Monday through Friday tub for the next week. Like it is so satisfying to me and I love it. Anybody else? I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find you. I got home around 4 30 and then little miss was cranky and overtired and so I ended up trying to calm her down and snuggle her and we just got up and now I'm going to get her her bottle here soon and then I'm gonna get her ready for bed but I need to prop this up somewhere I did want to go ahead though and end the vlog I hope that y'all enjoyed this week in my life and kind of putting a different twist on it. It still doesn't show you, you know, obviously every second of my day because I can't stop when I'm in the middle of taking care of her to film it every single time. But I feel like you kind of got like, you at least got a better idea than I normally, normally how give in a week in my life. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. I think it's nice to see kind of, you know, teachers having like lives outside of teaching, especially like this new role as being a mom. I feel like I would have loved to see more teachers talk about how they balanced motherhood and teaching because that's something that I'm battling and, and kind of learning how to balance. And so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. I would love for you to stick around for all my future videos. And thank you for your support, for subscribing, for watching and sharing. It supports this sweet hair pulling girl and our family and I appreciate it so much and I will see you guys next week. Bye friends.